Okay. Um, so what we're going to deal with on this one is, again, ladies and gentlemen, please remember your first step is to draw what you have been given. Now, I'm not going to be too worried about what the asymptotes look like. We'll get to that in a second. But all they're asking us to do is write the equation. So yeah, the asymptotes are going to help us out. But what I main, main thing I'd like you guys to focus on is graphing the vertices. Because if we know the vertices, if the two vertices lie in a horizontal line, then we know we have a horizontal transverse axis, right? If the vertices are like this, we have a vertical transverse axis. And that's going to tell us which equation to use. So I'm going to plot the information I'm given. So 9, 0, negative 9, 0. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's a vertice and that's a vertice. So since I have vertices that are horizontal, horizontally away from each other, I know I'm going to have a horizontal axis of symmetry. So therefore, my formula is going to be x minus h squared over a squared minus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. All right? Now, they gave me the asymptotes, right? I also need to remember, what is the formula for a horizontal hyperbola for the asymptotes? So if you guys remember, I gave you, remember I gave you the formula for asymptotes for a horizontal hyperbola? And then I gave you the formula for a vertical hyperbola, which is going to be y equals k plus or minus b over a times x minus h. For a horizontal hyperbola, that is the, for, that is the formula for the um, asymptote. Formula. formula. OK. So now, let's go and take a look at what we have. Again, since we know our two vertices, can we figure out what our center is? Yeah, our center is 0, 0, right? So I'll say, all right, center, 0, 0. Then remember, the distance from the vertice to the center is your a, right? So we can say a equals 9. So since a equals 9, that means a squared equals 81. All right, now let's look at what our two asymptotes are. Notice how the formula is b over a, right? So you notice you have a is your 9. So therefore, my b has to be what? 7. So therefore, if b equals 7, then b squared equals 49. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we know a, we know b, and we know the center. Can we now write the equation? We can. Yeah, absolutely. So can I not write x minus 0 squared this time and just write x squared? Will that make sense? Yeah. Because I just did it last time, maybe. So it's going to be x squared over a squared, which is 81, minus b squared, which it, or y minus k squared. No, I'm sorry. Just y squared. I'm, now I'm messing myself up. Over y squared over 49 equals 1. So the x on goes over a, right? When it's a horizontal axis. See, this graph is going to look like this, right? But if the graph was opening up and down, then the x would be over the, these would be swapped. So it's b over a, and we know a is 9. So therefore, b is 7. Okay. One more. Uno más. 